plane, train, automobile and boats. Almost two months of our journey uh, in October, November, December, and we started showing you it already. But our journey continued. So we left Ireland and uh, went to Holyhead, Wales. Probably you will ask why Holyhead? There was a reason for this. We are in Holyhead, Wales, which is part of Britain, uh, but like Scotland, it's a separate part of Britain from England. And uh, we're leaving our hotel today to go to London by train. But Hollyhead in Wales is kind of interesting for me, particularly because my ancestors are from Wales. Um, lots of people in the United States originally came from Wales, and my family is one of them. So this is my first time in this part of the world, and uh, first time to see this, and it's very interesting for that reason. This is a town marker that says that it's describing Hollyhead, and it notes that it's directly opposite Dublin, which is the reason why it's here, and it's the shortest distance to Ireland as well as the safest passage over the very dangerous Irish Sea. There isn't a great deal that distinguishes Hollyhead in any way. It's definitely not a tourist town. There isn't very much of anything here to see. It's a pleasant enough place, but uh, not particularly interesting, not a lot to do. Some interesting old churches, and uh, yeah, I guess its main distinction is that it is one of the major, if not perhaps the major, route for goods being transported to and from Ireland and England. Because it's a straight shot from Hollyhead over to Dublin, and there's a lot of traffic over the Irish Sea back and forth between those two places, carrying a lot of people and a lot of goods. So you can get on a train at Hollyhead and go to London, and that's exactly what we did the next day after having stayed there. Uh, one of the interesting things to Hollyhead as an introduction for Xena and me to Wales is that they're very proud of their Welsh language, their dialect of Gaelic. And everywhere you look, not only is Gaelic on the street signs and so forth, but usually it's above the English words. The Gaelic comes first, in other words. And as we learned talking to some locals, many people in the Hollyhead area still speak Gaelic very fluently and in fact uh, prefer it and speak it more in their homes than they do English, at least in the case of many of them. And so uh, it would not be unusual to hear conversations on the street in Gaelic in Hollyhead, Wales. And we are approaching the, Baptist, the church. The Baptist church. Here we met a leader of the English Baptist Church. I think we had an interesting conversation. Morning. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll spoil your photographs. That's all, yeah. How are you today? And I've not been there all that time. 1861? 1861 it was built, yeah. Uh -huh. Along with most of these houses, you can see they're all whole old houses, but they were built at the time. This was quite the... When this was built, this was quite the posh end of town, was it? The, the, the good end of town, yeah. Are there many Baptists in Wales? Um, there are less than we would like, to be quite honest with you. There are. I mean, there are... Uh, what, what we've got is, is in, this is an English Baptist, yes, as you can yes. see there, uh -huh. and the reason I'm it says, Southern Baptist in, by the way, yeah, in the yeah, United States. Yeah, 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 okay, that's, that's great, that is good. Right, this is uh, an English Baptist chapel, and it, we call it that because it, we do our, all of our preaching, all of our, um, everything is in English. Uh -huh. uh, sister church across the town is a Welsh Baptist chapel. Oh, really? You see, really? We do all of their oh. services in Welsh, yeah. because Welsh is a, a prominent a language here. Language, yes. uh, in fact, if you go in there, and listen to conversation, it's half and half English, half and half Welsh. Is it really? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and um, it's, it, it's just the way of life here, you know, people speak 
half and half. So what's yeah. the dominant religion in Wales? Is it Anglican? Uh, yes, I would say so, yes. I would say so. Okay. I, it doesn't dominate very well, to be perfectly <laughs> honest with you. Like, uh, I'm afraid the country has gone down the pan in that respect. You know, it really has. It's just... Yeah, well, it has, it's true everywhere. It's yeah, true I in the US so, also. Yeah. By the way, it is Sunday. Everything is closed. There's one of my relatives, Raymond, the butcher. Ben and the anchor in the middle of Holyhead, because it is a town port, right? Yeah, it is a port. And it is a downtown. It's the main street. Ma the main street, yes. The town is not really big. We never visited Wales before and we are glad we did. Uh, we spent just one night here and left to visit London. And next video will be about this beautiful place. Don't miss it. See you very, very soon.